Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. We can do this. We can do this together, Granny. We can make this work. We can make it happen. The goal of the century. Here. Hey. hey. Did she? Oh, come on. Move, Granny. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to Granny. And today, we're trying out yet another mod. Now, this is a reskin mod, so it changes the look and design of Granny's house, which I always enjoy. This one is made by someone by the name of Topsy. As you guys probably already know, Dr. Hack doesn't exist anymore, but Topsy is still making maps, so that's really cool. So we still have someone who is capable of making these mods, which is fun. In addition to that, we also have the Nozarep mod enabled on this reskin, so that's really cool too, so we can mess around with Granny. We don't have to worry about getting caught by her, and it's the new Nozarep mod, so like it has all the tiny Granny granny stuff and big granny stuff and all that fun stuff. So this mod in celebration of the World Cup going on is essentially a soccer slash football, whatever you want to call it. I call it soccer, so forgive me. I, I live in North America where we call it soccer. I don't have anything against calling it football. I just... I've always called it soccer, because that's what I've always called it. So it's soccer, and I will be straight up with you guys. I don't watch it. I haven't been watching the World Cup at all. Oh my gosh, Granny. What, what, I love your your look. What What is going on with your eyes, though? What? <laughs> she's got googly eyes. I kind of like it. I love the jersey. Granny, yeah. She's feeling the World Cup in her bones. We got a bunch of, like, soccer players up on the walls here. Wait, okay, wait. Let's, let's just start out one room at a time. I'm kind of getting overwhelmed here. There's so much different stuff. I don't really know what this is on the walls. I don't think that has anything to do with soccer. I, I'm glad that Granny is joining us for this little tour of her house, though. Thank you for keeping us company, Granny. I appreciate that. Looks like Granny got some new dentures. Are those those new teeth there, Granny? Because they're looking they're looking really nice. Very, very nice. All right, let's, let's continue exploring the house. I like how her steps are made of stone. That's kind of a unique choice, Granny. It's impressive that, you know, you've got wood floors and stone stairs in your house. We got some soccer players up on the walls here. I, I assume they're they're holding trophies that are important and quite prestigious. I'm sure they're very talented individuals. I have no idea who they are. Nothing personal. Let's continue. Another picture of a soccer player, I assume. That would be weird if there was a picture of some dude on Granny's wall and he wasn't a soccer player because clearly Granny is in the World Cup spirit right now. She's feeling it. When Granny celebrates an event, she celebrates hard. She redesigns her entire house for the entire day. You should see what Granny does for the Winter Olympics. She just fills her house with snow. It's incredible. She has to keep the AC on pretty much all the time. It's very cold inside of her house when the Winter Olympics are going on. She also turns her stairs into a ski course, which is also very impressive. Okay, Granny, we need to continue exploring the house here. I like this. What, what is, is Are these like scores? <laughs> you got like scores carved into the, into the table there, Granny? You know, you could just use a piece of paper. You don't have to carve it directly into your kitchen island. That seems a little extreme, but you know, she can do whatever she wants. It's her house. We got green cabinets, which are ugly. They're very ugly, but uh, don't tell Granny that I said that, even though I just said it right in front of her. I'm just looking at, Granny, did you get a new microwave? Looks a little bit better than it used to be. It doesn't work any better than it used to, but it looks a little bit nicer. We got some nice dishware up on the, t on the wall. Oh, sorry about that, Granny. I'm really, really sorry. Yeah, she's shaking her head at us. Why are we just walking around breaking her nice plates that she hangs up on the wall? Do you guys know of anybody who hangs plates on their walls? I feel like that's got to be a pretty unique thing for people to do. I'm sure there's people out there who do it. I just don't think there's that many people who do it. You guys let me know in the comment section if you know someone who puts plates on their walls and let me know if they have any, uh, you know, shared characteristics with granny over here. Okay, let's move down into the basement. Oh my. This is very, like, dungeon-y. Actually, this is really cool looking. I like this. The stone. Yeah, that's very nice. Also, the safe looks a little bit different. I think that's, like, some some plated steel or something. That, that wasn't there before. I like that, Granny. Upgraded your safe. The barrels also look a little bit different, I think. 
or maybe they just look different because the background behind them is different I don't know I mean you know there's a lot going on here and it looks really cool it doesn't look like the uh garage is too different the car is definitely exactly the same as it always has been the garage door is is reskinned so it's not quite as ugly as it used to be and then we got a brick wall with uh, Topsy's logo there just to remind you that's the person who made this mod granny is very excited about this and she loves her new teeth she just can't stop smiling about it it's kind of freaking me out can you stop smiling granny can you please just close your mouth just please she's never gonna close her mouth we got a shotgun. There's a shotgun. And as I've been told, uh, using the Nolzareb mod, the shotgun is automatically done. Now, we learned that and, and we knew that because when we did the uh, tiny granny versus giant granny, I went ahead and I made the shotgun regardless of it already being done. But it is clear that the Nolzareb mod just automatically makes it done, which makes it a lot easier than having to go get the pieces. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and shoot granny because she's standing here and she's kind of freaking me out. So I'm going to shoot her. There you go. I just I just shot granny. She was doing nothing. She's just minding her own business. And then I had to knock her out. That was very rude of me. Maybe I'm the bad guy here. Check out the sauna. Sauna looks exactly the same. So I think we can uh, move on and actually I I'm going to take the gun with me, but there's really no reason to have it, but there's no reason not to have it. All right, let's go back upstairs and uh, we still need to explore the secret area. And then the last area that I want to explore is the backyard, because as I understand it, it is also soccer themed. So I'm excited to see that. Let's just explore these rooms here. Oh, wow. OK, uh, that's it's a very unique wallpaper choice granny i'm sure your guests feel very happy in this room it's a very vibrant and, and happy color you got going on here let's check out the other room okay yeah once again oh hello i did not know that you spawn in here kind of weird there's some kind of like shell designs more some more soccer players hello gentlemen I'm, I'm sure that you're very good at soccer i apologize for pointing this gun at you i'm, I'm gonna just turn this way okay it must get exhausting for granny to have to do all these redesigns she must have a great interior designer are the boxes different the boxes have been retextured or am i losing my mind i feel like that is a more realistic cardboard texture than what is in the standard game but maybe i'm looking too much into it i, don't, I feel like they're different though all right let's go in to the secret area and it's got some kind of like reddish wood paneling i think it's the same wood paneling that is in the regular game it's just got a reddish tint instead of like a grayish tint that's the best way i can describe it let's go into teddy's room here piece of the shotgun don't need that open this guy up this room looks a little bit different too oh teddy wow that is a very colorful teddy i like this let's see what granny thinks of it uh <laughs> <laughs> the red googly eyes <laughs> oh man that is good that is very good i don't know what the rainbow teddy signifies but i'm sure that it has some kind of theme that goes along with the world cup maybe it's a specific team i don't know i'm just gonna take this guy with me also this meat is this granny did you butcher a zebra Granny butchered a zebra. That's messed up, Granny. Zebras are majestic and, and wonderful creatures. I've, I've seen them in person. They're actually very, very cool looking. Why would you do that? What do you think zebra meat tastes like? I, what are you doing, Granny? I, I don't know if I can accept the fact that you've murdered a majestic zebra and, and you've hung its meat here just, just in this room. Are you even going to eat it? What is, what is happening in here? I, I don't like it. I don't like it, Granny. I'm taking your weird rainbow teddy and we're leaving. We're leaving. We're not really leaving because that would require going through a lot of steps. You know, we got to get all the items and all that stuff. Maybe we'll do that later. Okay, so the last place that we need to explore, of course, is the outside with rainbow teddy. I love this thing. It's so colorful. Let's go outside. Come on. Oh, my. Okay, yes, I approve of this. So Granny has uh, laid down some nice grass or sod. So now she has a proper sort of soccer field in her backyard. Admittedly, most soccer fields don't have guillotines in the middle of them, but that's uh, Granny's own unique little flavor that she likes to add to the game of soccer. Okay, Granny, you can have your teddy back. I don't want it anymore. I don't even want it. You think Granny would get upset if we chopped her, her teddy bear in half? Can we, can we try and chop Rainbow Teddy in half? Here, 
Granny, excuse me. I need to. I need. I need to do this for science. This is for science. Maybe we can like balance it on top of that. No, it just falls over. Come on, we can do this. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, oh, come on, Teddy. Work with me, dude. Nope, that didn't work. Why does it sometimes like I I throw it like I'm throwing a fastball, and then other times I'm just like eh. I don't really get it. I'm gonna try it. Okay, that was another fastball. Just gently drop it. Yeah, yeah, like that. We almost had it. I think we can do this. I think we can get Teddy to stay. Oh, oh, it was hung up on, on Granny. Granny's kind of, oh, wait, stay. Ah, oh, Teddy. There we go. There we go. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pull the lever. I can't get the, I can't get to the lever. Please do not knock down Teddy. Okay. It's good. It's good. No, Granny. Why would you do that? We had him where we wanted him. All right. Now that I know we can do it, I'm determined. There we go. There we go. Now, Granny needs to get out of the way. Okay. Yeah. Come over here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Good. Okay. We're going to chop Rainbow Teddy. Here we go. Boom. It, it, what? It did, it did nothing. It just went right through. <laughs> well, Rainbow Teddy is invincible. That's impressive. I don't know what kind of fabric that's made out of, but I wish I had some clothes made out of that stuff. They'd never wear out. All right, enough messing around with Rainbow Teddy. Is that the watermelon or is that a soccer ball? The text underneath it is in, I assume, Russian, and I don't speak Russian, but I think this might be a weird soccer ball. It, It's, yeah, that's a... That's a weird football shaped soccer ball. I know that seems like a confusing sentence for people who live outside of North America because football is soccer, but in North America, football is the game where they, you know, tackle each other and stuff. You guys already know that, but it's the, that is not shaped like a soccer ball. Soccer balls are round. They're not shaped like an egg. It looks like an egg, but actually this gets me thinking. Granny, clearly you're in the World Cup spirit right now. How about a game? You against me. We're gonna play a game of soccer against Granny, or we're gonna try to. That seems ridiculous. With a with an egg-shaped soccer ball, no less. We got our own rules here. Okay, so we need goals. I think uh, one goal is gonna be here, and then I guess the other goal could be the playhouse, but I have to get the playhouse key. So Granny, you stay here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on invisible so that she doesn't chase us. You stay here. I'm gonna get this playhouse opened. We have to go find the playhouse key first. It looks like the items that we pick up also have some slight reskins to them. You can see the cutting pliers here are a little bit brighter green than they normally are, so that's pretty cool. And actually, I forgot to come up here. Uh, we haven't explored this area yet. We do still need the hammer. Is this a crash test dummy? <laughs> that's pretty cool. I like that. You know, I was just thinking, it would be a real bummer if the playhouse key was inside of the soccer ball because that would mean that the only way to get the playhouse key would be to chop our soccer ball in half. If that ends up being the case, we'll just uh, pretend that the door is open on the playhouse and just and just deal with it. It's honestly starting to look more and more like the playhouse key might actually be inside of the watermelon. And by watermelon, I mean soccer ball, of course. All right, so I've pretty much exhausted all the options for the playhouse key, and I think the only place left to look would be our soccer ball. But I'm not gonna do that because we need our soccer ball to play soccer with Granny. So we're just gonna say this area here is the goal. So if you get it into this front area of the house, you win. So Granny, I'm gonna go ahead and re-enable your uh, ability to see us, to look at us, and uh, hopefully we can make this somewhat work. So let's let's do this, Granny. Here, don't. Uh, okay, you know what? We need to we need to just start over here. We need to start over, okay, Granny? So come over here. Come over here. Come follow me, please. Okay. All right. We're starting in the middle of the field, if you can call this a field, with the guillotine in the middle of it. I still can't get over those weird eyes and your new dentures. It's messing with my head, but you look great. So here, on the count of three, I'm gonna drop the soccer egg, and we're gonna play. Here we go. Three. Two, one, let's go. Bring it on, bring it on, Granny. I, bring it on, please, go. Soccer ball, the soccer ball does not have collision, or the collision is very, very bad. You can see me very, very gently 
bumping into the soccer ball. Granny is uninterested in the soccer ball. Can she actually kick the ball? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, she can. She can. Okay, she's in the game now. She's in it to win it. I gotta, I gotta get the ball. Oh, no. It's rolled over to its side. Now it won't go in the direction that I need it to go. We have to kind of rotate it, but it's very, very hard to do. Can we use... Like a, a teddy bear. Can we can we use the teddy bear to kind of prod our little soccer ball here? Okay, that doesn't work. Maybe we can use Granny to kick the soccer ball. Come on, Granny. No, no, you missed it. You missed the soccer ball. Kick it over this way. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's good. That's great, Granny. Okay, okay. Now come over here. Come over. Look at her. Look at her go. Look at that. Look at those moves. She knows how to dribble. She's got all kinds of crazy moves. All right, all right. Let's get her. Okay, okay. All right. We need to get her over here. I I'm gonna help her get a goal against me just for the sake of making this happen. Okay, you need to come over here. All the way over here, Granny. No, you're kicking the ball away from the goal. You need to get it over here. Okay, we need to do another circle around the the well. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, now, now, get the, get the ball. Get the ball, Granny. She didn't, she didn't hit it. She, it's stuck. I think the ball actually might be stuck. I don't know if she can. Oh, she got it a little bit, a little bit free from there. Okay, let's, let's go this way. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get her, get it, get it. She, she stepped on it, but it didn't really move, did it? Okay, okay, this is fine. Uh, we're gonna say that the ball is stuck now, so we're gonna start over. Let's get Granny back over here all right yeah stand stand in position you gotta come a little bit a little bit further back there you go okay that's good that's perfect look at how happy she is to be playing soccer when's the last time you played soccer granny probably been a couple years right maybe one or two hundred all right let's do this again but this time i'm gonna drop the egg and then i'm gonna get teddy get teddy right there okay all right let's get her around this way okay she's playing good defense here all right now you, you got you got to come over here granny yeah okay okay that that wasn't that was not great that was actually pretty bad granny you might want to reconsider kicking the ball in the wrong direction okay that's a little bit better but you're still kind of not getting the point she's a little rusty with the way that soccer works okay i'm pretty sure she got it stuck again yeah yeah she got it stuck let's see if we can move it ourselves i'm gonna give it a shot here See if I can kind of prod it in this direction, get it away from the wall. I can't get it away from the wall. Okay, we're going to have to start over again. Okay, dropping the ball and then getting Teddy. And, uh, all right, we, we can do this. We just, we just need to get her lined up. Okay, don't, don't follow me this way. No, you're going the wrong way, Granny. You need to follow me this way. Come on. Okay, yeah, come over here. Okay. I'm just going to run straight over the ball. How how, that, how about that? And then let's see if that gets her to kick it. Uh, she she missed it. You missed the ball, Granny. Okay, you know what? Fine. You you run the ball into my goal then. How's that sound? Yeah, okay. All right. I like the way you're thinking, lady. Maybe I've been going the wrong way this whole time. Okay, come on. Come on. Kick it. Kick it. Oh, oh. It, it's got to be. Oh, look at how close it is. Come on, Granny. You can do this, lady. You just got to you just got to get it over there just a little bit. Come on. No, she's not running it in. Okay, this is okay. We can do this. We can do this together, Granny. We can make this work. We can make it happen. The goal of the century. Here. Yeah, yeah, hey. Did she Oh, come on. Move, Granny. That Oh, I'm pretty sure that that went in, but but let's let's try again. Let's try again. I want to see it in there. I want to see it. I want to see it, Granny. I, oh, come on, just just a little bit further. Just a little bit further. You beautiful, weird shaped soccer ball. Just go into the goal. That's where you belong. Here, I'm gonna help Granny. I'm gonna help her. Here, come on. We can do this. No, go. Go. No, you're going the wrong way. You stupid soccer ball. You're going in the wrong direction. Why can't I just kick the stupid soccer ball? Okay, get away from the soccer ball, Granny. Step away. And we're gonna do this again. We're gonna we're gonna give you a nice run up. This is like a penalty kick. Again, I know very little about soccer and the rules around it, but there you go. You get penalty kick. Penalty kick. <gasps> okay, okay. She's got a good angle on that. She Oh! Oh, come on. It's just there's a little like lip right there. We can just we just got to get a little bit more momentum on that weird egg ball. Come on, Granny. Come on. 
Do it. Kick it. Nope, nope. Scoot back. Scoot back. Nope. You're gonna you're gonna kick it in the wrong direction. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. Oh, she just barely missed it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think. Oh, come on. See, that's the thing that's hard about this is that you can't actually see where the ball went after Granny runs it over. Okay, come on. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. Come on. Did she get it? Did she kick it? She didn't kick it. Oh my gosh. This is so hard. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yes. Maybe. No. We're going to give this a few more shots. Come on, Granny. I feel like we pretty much did it, but I'm, I'm going to give it a good go here. But she's, she's not hitting the ball anymore. Why aren't you hitting the ball? Uh-oh. This, that could be bad. I, I accidentally knocked it off course there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please don't get stuck on the guillotine. Come on, Granny. Granny, come back. Come back, Granny. Kick the ball. Kick the ball away from the guillotine. No. no. Oh, she messed it up. She messed it up. All right. We're going to give this a couple more chances here. I think that was our best opportunity. That's not where I want to be. I just want Teddy. There we go. Okay. That was probably our best chance back there, but just couldn't quite get it in there. So I'll tell you what. Why don't we try getting it here in this goal? This one's going to be a little bit easier, I think, because you can actually run inside of the shed. So we can kind of line things up. Where did it go? Where did where did the soccer ball? How did it get over here? Okay, that's annoying. Let's see if she can get it away from the well. Okay, she did. She did. Okay, come on. Come on, Granny. Oh, kick. Just, oh, come on, Granny. You can you can do better than that. I know you can do better than that. Come this way a little bit. A little bit, a little bit more. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, follow me this way. Come on. No, she missed it again. Granny, for someone who loves soccer so much, you are not very good at it. In fact, you're terrible at soccer. I get that we're using a very strangely shaped ball that I keep misplacing. There it is. But you can do better than this. I believe in you, Granny. Come on. Kick. No, that's not what you need to do. Come on. Okay. 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 Now kick it this way. Maybe. Maybe that sort of didn't really work at all. Didn't work at all. Oh, this is so frustrating. Come on, Granny. Come on. Kick the ball. Kick the ball in the correct direction. Stop. Stop missing the ball, Granny. It's right in front of you. Why can't you just be better at soccer? Why? Why? I'm starting to doubt that you're even a soccer fan. I think you might be a fraud. You know what, Granny? You've disappointed the entire soccer community. You've, you've ruined the day. I'm just going to throw it in there. There you go. Goal. Goal! No, no. You don't even des you don't even deserve the long goal! <sighs> I'm okay. I I'm okay. But Granny doesn't deserve that. That was for all of you. For putting up with Granny's shenanigans. But there you have it, guys. We got to play some soccer with Granny. This is a really cool mod. I will have a link in the description down below so you can try it out for yourselves. And you can check out Topsy's YouTube channel. Keep in mind, it is not in English. So you might have a hard time understanding it. But you can still see some cool stuff there. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.